this is where the Democratic Party is in 2020, I will not vote for Joe Biden. And if we don't start putting Americans first, the Democratic Party will lose more moderates like me. That is Indian American director Namrata Singh Gujral. Well, in a clip from her latest film, America's Forgotten, a documentary that happens to have an anti-illegal immigration message. And in these politically strident times, apparently what she included here is enough to be censored, she says, by Facebook and Amazon. So we're joined now by Namrata to talk about the film and the backlash to it. Um, Namrata, great to have you with us. I know that um, we talked a little bit during the commercial about how this film started. You wanted to take an honest look at illegal immigration and the whole process. Uh, and found some stories that were absolutely heartbreaking and found that in this, it, it, it seemed like you involved from your you know, wholehearted support of the Democratic Party to one where you thought these policies are actually ending up hurting people. Yes. Yes, I think illegal immigration at this point, after one year of investigations around the world and making America forgotten, I think illegal immigration is a really bad idea for anyone, whether you're a migrant I just wonder if YouTube's going to take this down. People, I'm going to try and it post it, but we'll see. Yeah, and you said that actually when um, Democrats probably in the state not after this. Not a problem. I mean, Amazon should put the shit back on. And, and benefits for people who are in the U.S. illegally. You said that's actually something that's used by the coyotes who will then take people who often... I mean, if you're interested, look up America's Forgotten on Amazon and, and it will bring them nothing those things to show people like, hey, but you to liberal America, BS. Fun. Yes, and this was sort of fascinating because uh, some of the folks that I interviewed in the film, my, my contact points in India were a couple of very big journalists from the Hindustan Times and uh, the Indian Express. Your Indian American audiences would know these newspapers. They're the top newspapers in India, and the journalists who are on the beat of illegal immigration are actually in the film. They connected me, they actually connected me with some coyotes from India. They, these are sub-agents. It's part of a much larger machine. And um, they, I, I said to them, I said, how, so how do you get these people to say yes to fifty, seventy-five thousand dollars per person? That's a lot of money. And literally the day after the, the Democratic Party debate, the, the thing with everyone holding their hands up for health care, and that was being floated around. And literally, I think the day that I shot with them, they got two people that bought into it and gave them $100,000. Wow. Okay, so I want to make sure we get to this uh, before we have to go. But uh, you've had a number of films out. You've advertised on Facebook. Um, you had an understanding that you were going to have this released through Amazon. Some of those things have not happened this time around. What do you make of it? What can you tell us? Um, I think I am, um, I am so sad. I think it's a dark day for America. It's one of the things that I've, I've, I've been putting together as a film is censorship in India. Censorship this is what happens if your Joe Biden gets elected, liberals. I mean, this is what you don't want. If they don't like what you're saying. It's to that point. Trump won't allow this. China with censorship. I never thought, Shannon, I would see a day in America where an Amazon who has greenlit your film for a previous Friday puts it back under preview, and I made a lot of noise today. I put it all over the place. I finally just got a text from them that said, we will look into this. But the problem is, your opening weekend is your 75% of people yeah. paying attention to your film. In effect, and the movie, I hope not. if you're going to come back at me about something, out there, but with the well, he's the president, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. My Go listen to his rallies. Big tech. It's like refusing to listen to him. So I just don't understand what's political about this picture that wasn't about my previous film. And you know what he means by big tech. Just wait till he wins this next election. It's all fixing to change. And I just really hope that you all are true Americans and vote for him. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me, Shannon. Okay, 18 days.